In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert climb rates from feet per nautical mile to feet per minute for an IFR departure approach using the E6B flight computer. In this example, I'm going to look at the Terp Z2 departure for the Baltimore Washington International Airport. Go Terps! Examining the bottom of the departure chart, we can see that it requires a climb of 500 feet per nautical mile up to 2,500 feet and then an additional 500 feet per nautical mile climb up to 11,000 feet. So the question then is how do we convert this to a climb rate in feet per minute that we can measure on the VSI in the aircraft? In order to solve this problem what we'll first do is align the index on the inside rotating ring with the climb speed that we are going to establish. For a Cessna 172, I've selected in this example 75 knots. Next, we'll look along the inside of the ring until we get to the recommended minimum safe clearance climb in feet per nautical mile. In this case, it was 500 feet per nautical mile. Finally, all we have to do is move across to the stationary index to find the corresponding climb rate in feet per minute which we can read off the VSI. Here we can see 500 is opposite to 60, 1, 2, 3. So at least 630 feet per minute climb must be maintained at 75 knots during an IFR departure. And it's that simple. 